Alright, this is Kenneth with another project video. Uh, I've built another clock, as you can see, out of a 5x7 LED matrix. First, talking about how to read the clock, this one actually has the date as well as the time. So, the first column is the month, so you can see that it is 2, because it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, just in binary. So, it's 2, which means it's February. Second dot shows an 8, which, uh, which means it's February 8th. 1 plus 2, which means it's 3 o'clock, and then the p.m. indicator is up here. So that's 3 o'clock p.m. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 means that it's 3.31, and then seconds scroll by fairly quickly. On a hardware side, we have an Atmega 16.8 running the Arduino bootloader. It has a crystal and the reset circuitry here, along with a few filter caps thrown throughout. Uh, it's talking over I square C to a DS3232 uh, temperature compensated real time clock chip. I have it soldered because it, it only comes in a surface mount package, so I have it soldered to a, a dual inline breakout board. It has two super caps plus a diode and a resistor as a trickle charger on its backup so that when you unplug it, it keeps time. On the driver side, the Atmega talks through three wires for data, clock, and latch to a uh, shift register LED driver. I have it set for 10 milliamps per pin, and so each row of the display is driven by one of the pins on the, dot, on the uh, LED driver. Um, on the other side, each column of the dot matrix is driven by a transistor down here, which are just 2222s. Um, they're wired up as a voltage follower since the microcontroller itself cannot deliver enough current to drive an entire column. So the microcontroller drives the transistor which then can deliver well more than the current the display could ever take.